Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is quite exciting. The postman has just been to my house and he has dropped off the Natasha Denona Tropic Mini Palette. Now, this is the bottom row of the Tropic Palette. This, I hear you scream, Kath, this is, have you lost your mind? This is not your usual colour palette. Correct, it's not. But, do you know what? I had a little incident this week where I basically fell in love with the new Hourglass Curator palette. Well, I fell in love with two or three colours, so let me go back. Um, Hourglass recently released their Curator palette. So basically, you buy the tin, the palette, so you're going to have a three pan or a five pan, and you can choose the shades you put in there. And the three pan palette that I had my eye on, the colours I had my eye on, would have cost me £96. I love Hourglass, you know I do, but they have lost their freaking minds. No eyeshadow trio is worth 96 quid. So, I had a little hunt around, because the colours that I really wanted in this palette, from this collection, I'll insert them here, I found some images online. And um, it was a beautiful green and a beautiful blue. And the third one I wasn't too sure, so I just thought I'd pick up a transition shade or something that was a bit more different. I had no real idea, but the green and the blue of what I wanted. So I went to my very favorite eyeshadow maker, Natasha Denona, and I found this palette. It has a beautiful green, it has a beautiful blue, and it has a mint green, awesome, and a couple of matte transition shades. So I thought, for £22, which this is, it's worth a go. It's not hourglass, it's not those exact shades, but if I was going to go down the route of wanting a green eye or a blue eye, does one or two shades really make any difference? And I could just go on with a lighter hand, I could just blend it out more. So, that was my idea. Save some cash. Because the hourglass colours, as beautiful as they were, they're not the shades that I would wear every day. And I just think that kind of... I'm not even going to say an investment. That kind of money is ridiculous just for eyeshadows. So, I mean, you know, in Hourglass, you can buy an entire face palette. Their Christmas face palettes are like £68 or something. £80? £80. It's less for a whole face of makeup than it is for three eyeshadows. I was like, no, sorry. I love Hourglass, but you're crazy. So this is how it looks. It comes in the usual Natasha, Natasha Denona packaging. Uh, and it's got the nice bright yellow for a summer shade around the plastic bit here. And then it has the names of the colours also. So, I've not tried this yet. As you can see, I'm bald eyed. I have been waiting for the postie to come. I'm going to get this on my eyes and I really want you to come with me. Let's see if I make a terrible mistake or if it's something that I will just immediately fall in love with. And uh, yeah, let's give it a go guys. Come with me. Right, so I have already got my foundation down and all my powders and all that kind of stuff. My brows are all done. So literally all I have to do is my eyes. I have set my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer and Potion. And I have set it with my Hourglass Finishing Powder, um, just because it was the closest one to hand. So now let's get into the colours. I'm going to go for a mint green eye with this kind of green crease. I'm a bit scared, so I don't want to go too crazy. So let's go for it. I'm going to use my flat shader brush to sort of pack the colour on. Usually these are good with your finger, but I'm going to try. really pretty. These colours are quite, so I like Natasha Denona. Although in the palette they look quite scary, once you apply them. They're actually fine. I might even go in with my finger. Now I'm getting a bit a bit cocky. Let's try it. Go with my little finger. Oh 
Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Bring it a little bit higher. Oh yeah. Ooh, this is interesting. I was kind of half expecting not to like it. I don't know why. Because these colours are still they're a little bit cool toned. So although they're like completely out of my comfort zone. I mean, hello. Okay, let's do a little transition. I was usually, I was going to put a transition shade beforehand, but I'm going to try this purple colour right here. I don't know how this is going to work because purple and green. It's not like, look, it's not purple, it's like. Hmm. All the brushes and everything I use, I will list below. My flat shader brush is no longer available. It's a Chanel one I bought about a thousand years ago. These over brushes, I'm gradually replacing my old brushes with these new ones. Okay. Oh, now the fun one. This is the darker green. So the first green was called Mini Frost, and this one is called Exotic. So I'm just going to kind of roll my brush into it. I'll do what the grey Indian Haji told us to do. I'll link her video below. Eyeshadow for beginners. Although I'm not a beginner, I'm always happy to learn. And her tip was actually really good. So you kind of <clears throat> plonk the colour there at the end. And then whatever's left on the brush, you just kind of pull it. So you don't get too much colour in the crease you get a really nice transition because you can always build that corner up. Very handy. And these colours aren't giving much fallout either. I was quite scared of applying my makeup before. You kind of put more colour as you need it. Getting a tiny bit of fallout, but I can I can cope with it. I'm just gonna blend these together. I'm gonna use that transition shade, because that's what transition shades are for, is to kind of blend together what you've already done. I'm kind of loving this. I've got a tiny bit of fallout here. I'm just gonna get my bronzer brush. Just kind of flick it out of the way. God, I was so not expecting to like this. Okay, okay, let me do the other one and I'll come right back. Now what I've seen people do to the like consistency with these kind of colors, they add a color to the lower lash line. I never usually do this. I usually use an eyeliner, but I haven't got an eyeliner that will match these colors. So I'm gonna go in with the darker green, this one, exotic, and use my, uh, my, Zoeva Precision Smudger Brush, which is this one. Excuse the stuff all over my hands. I forgot a wipe. Um, so I'm just gonna pat that in there. So I've got it like on the side. And just kind of. Okay, that's amazing. Oh my God. Ooh, this is exciting. Once I've got my eyeliner and my mascara done, this is gonna look awesome. Okay, now this could be a horrific mistake, but I'm going to use the smudger brush that I used on my eyes to smudge out under here. I'm just going to take off the excess there. This could be bad. Sorry for all the weird facial expressions. Oh. 
See now, I want to go more here, but I'm kind of thinking, Kath, just stop the excitement. Rain yourself in, because otherwise it will look crazy. I think with these kind of things, you can, you can go too far. I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend a bit more. I'm gonna ditch this brush and get a new clean one. And then just kind of go over everything. Again, just with a clean brush. Okay, I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna do my lashes. I'm just gonna put some mascara on and my, um, my liner. And I'll come back with the finished look. <coughs> Need to find a lipstick as well, it's gonna suit this. Be right back and we are done as you can see i kept the lip quite plain because the eyes are definitely the standout in this look um i i really love it actually i'm surprised of course this is very much a summer palette it's very much a kind of if i was on holiday i could put this on but this look wasn't hard to achieve. The eyeshadows are really pigmented, like everything Natasha Denona does. They're just perfection. Really buttery, really frosty. Um, I'm kind of in love with it. I'm gonna try the dark blue. I will post that after this. Uh, I will try that tomorrow and uh, we will see how this goes down. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think of it. Is this a palette you would even consider now that you've seen it? Were you thinking about it before and it's kind of pushed you over the edge? This palette is not new. It's not part of a new collection. It's just that I was quite tempted by the Hourglass one until I saw the cost of it and I just thought, no, I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. And even now that I tried this and I really love this look, I still wouldn't consider giving 96 pounds away for three eyeshadows. If somebody were to give them to me, I would be very excited about that. But I'm not going to part with my hard earned cash when you can buy so much more makeup with £96. So basically on my lip, I've just put on the Spice Lip Pencil by MAC. And um, it might even still be a bit too dark. I don't know. I might just put some clear gloss on or something. Or I wasn't sure about going for a bright lip. But then I thought, no, that would be way too much. So I'm going to have a play anyway. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed. Let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where I'll be looking a bit rough again, but we will get there. See you in a bit, guys. Morning, everyone. It's the next day and I'm ready to give this another go. I'm going to go with this in the crease and this on the lid. Um, I have, again, like yesterday, I've done my makeup so we can see how much fallout there is, all that kind of stuff. I'm still not leaving the house so it doesn't matter if this goes horribly horribly wrong i remembered my wipe today so that's all good so let's get started i've already put down my um my urban decay primer now for my crease color i'm going to use this fluffy brush because this color is so bright i really just am going to oh my god look how much pigment there is i'm literally just tapping this and it's like super super bright this could be fun. Right, let's go. The approach I don't want to have is that I've been punched in the eye. But I'm very confident with Natasha, Natasha Denona. I know her oh, colours are amazing. I've just had lots of bad experiences with blue eyeshadow. You know that you kind of have that um, reputation with blue eyeshadow that it's like, you just think of like in England, especially lots of like old ladies that have really bright blue eyeshadow and everything. But when it's done right, it could look really good. Again, like yesterday, terrified. And then I go in and get all cocky and just pile it on. It's a really nice shade. This it's kind of again, it's that cool tone. The pigment is there, but it's quite patchy. But I think that's blue i think it's just one of those one of those colors that you just get it's never going to be a hundred percent so with the dark blue i don't i haven't got a brush i kind of go in with a brush so i'm just gonna use my finger because like i say yesterday i used the green with the brush and nothing really happened so i'm going to Oh, 
Okay. Again, not as pigmented as I thought, and it's actually a little bit patchy. So when you do that and you put it down, like you have the, you just dip it in, it's really pigmented, and then you go to press it on. It's not as pigmented. Okay. But I don't hate it though, because I think this way it's going to be a bit more control, but I've still got a lot on my finger. So it's kind of, I don't have to try it with a brush. I've only got this one. It's quite fluffy. That's not going to work, is it? Hmm. Okay. Just keep going in, I guess. I watched a video where somebody wetted it and it completely changed the finish. So I'm not going to do that because with some foil colours, if you wet it, it works a lot better. But this one, it didn't. It completely lost its shine. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah, this is... Um quite different to what I expected. This is the only colour that Natasha Denona where I'm a bit like, oh, that's quite disappointing. Again, blue is a bit tricky. I'm glad that there's not loads of fallout and stuff though. Because although it's not glitter, it's a shimmer. Now that I can see it like that, it's not glittery. I might actually just go and get a flat brush and then try this with that. Be right back. And for the Morphe M421, this is actually a concealer brush, but it's tiny, so it might be quite good for this. And it's dense, so I'm hoping. Well, it's actually quite a lot better. Okay. See, just need to know what to do. Oh yeah. Okay. So, with this colour, use a dense flat brush. Don't use your finger. Noted. Now the blending's going to be interesting because this is quite solid now. <laughs> uh, so I'll use this brush. Go back in with the transition shape, if you can call it that. Just kind of try to blend them together. This one I think is not going to be my favourite look. Because the, the blue, the dark blue, you can't really do much with it. It's not really going anywhere. You blend it, it's not really blending. The only flat brush I've got, the only other flat brush I've got is the one we used yesterday. Um, it's got green all over it, so it's not ideal really. Yeah, this one is not my favorite. I'll see if I can save it with, um, lashes and stuff uh this i'm going to use the same brush that i used yesterday with my green on it just for my under line uh, this one i mean the blue's completely taken that off might need to play a bit more with this but i'm i'm not convinced The green yesterday, as you could see, was so easy and it was like effortless to apply, effortless to make it look good. But this one, I wonder if I put the green, the mint green or the green in the crease, if that would look nice to transition to try and, why not, let's try it, put it together, use my little brush. A little trusty. <laughs> this is the Morphe M321 from Boots, it's like five pounds. 
Okay. Well, this could be fun. Ooh. All right, guys. You might actually be able to save this. I think it's a very colourful combo. <laughs> Blue on its own is just too much for me. I think we can all agree. When I finish this look, my boyfriend is going to be like, what on earth are you doing? Okay. Hmm. All right then, so if we use the mint green, put it in the middle. We'll make that like an icy blue. As opposed to just a straight up old lady blue, as we were saying earlier, because I feel like this is kind of a bit like that. Tiniest little bit. And then blend, blend, blend. Yeah, this is not my favourite look, guys. Um, but you know, today we can make it work. We're gonna have to. Thankfully I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst, but let me go and uh, there isn't any fallout. That's actually quite amazing for colours that are this bright. Um, I'm going to go away. I'm going to sort my eyes out, bring my hair down a little bit. It might look better when I've got some blush on, some lip on. We'll see in a couple of minutes. <laughs> right, guys, this is the complete look. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of hate it. <laughs> I feel very 80s. This is very like 80s punk chic, maybe. Um, I will uh not be doing this again and um yeah i mean for the blue <laughs> right so breakdown of the palette i loved these two i love the green and the mint green the mint green has kind of saved this look because i put it over the dark blue to kind of make it look a bit frosty um the dark blue i will use just as an eyeliner i think if i wet my flat brush and use this as a, like a top liner and a bottom liner it would be really pretty um the purple i could use that with my pink palettes um as like a bit of a summery spring look the blue again i just don't think blue is for me i didn't like this in my crease it was quite patchy it was quite hard to blend it was very powdery and i still haven't really blended it properly um so yeah, is the palette worth it? I'm glad that I got it because if I'd have gone for the hourglass one and paid 96 pounds for the three colors and the blue I did not like, I would have been pissed. <laughs> so I'm really pleased from that perspective. And I do understand this is a completely different blue to the one in that palette. Um, but even if it's a really good blue and it blends really well and it's all that stuff, is it worth 30 pounds for the one little square? Probably not. So I have learned a lesson, which is great. And I will use this palette. I will definitely use these two colors for spring. I will use this one. I might even try this one uh, in a different look, not on camera, just for myself with the Natasha Denona Love palette, because there's quite a few pinks in that. So that might really offset this really nicely. Um, so it's not a waste of 22 pounds. I will use all of these colors, except for this one, probably. I might even use that as an eyeliner. Who knows? But um, I will, you know, let you know. But I think if you were younger, this would look quite good. I mean, for me, I just think it's quite aging. I feel like one of those old grannies that used to wear the blue eyeshadow all over their eyes. It's just very, very, very out of my comfort zone. But I'm aware that it doesn't look good. The mint green and the green I used yesterday were very out of my comfort zone. But I think they looked really pretty. You know, when you just put something on, you can immediately tell whether you like it or not, whether it's you or not. This is not me. Even when I went to do my hair, I was like, 
what am I going to do? It's a non-hair wash day, as you can tell, but I was just like, nothing is going to fix this. So I've just kind of made peace with that and I'm going to carry on with my day looking like, um, what's her name? Hilda Ogden from Coronation Street. <laughs> I think that's the kind of Hilda Ogden chic that I'm going for today. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this video was funny, interesting, what have you. Is this a palette that you would go for? Do you like this look? I mean, is this something that you think it looks good on me? I don't know. Um, but I think I will be for now washing my makeup brushes, retiring this collection until the sun comes out again, because as you can probably tell by the lighting, this is all natural lighting behind you is a big, massive window. It is currently raining and very gray. So I think I'll be getting out my regular colors for the next couple of weeks until the sun comes out again. But when it does come out, you'll be seeing me rocking these two shades. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care and have a great day.